Hey everybody, thanks for tuning back into OTRAM's YouTube channel. Uh, yesterday we did 488s and a Harop E-Locker in the back of a 80 series Land Cruiser. Um, today we're going to do the front diff. Um, it's pretty much the same as the rear, so we're not going to do an entire video on it. But I wanted to do a video just to point out the differences. Um, just things you should watch out for while you're putting them together. And I guess the most important, the 80 series uh, front diff is high pinion. So it's got this extra oil slinger that goes in the, the diff housing down here behind the uh, outer pinion bearing. And this helps keep an oil bath up in the bearing so it doesn't drain back into the housing as fast. When you pull the bearing races out, this gets mangled. They're really cheap from Toyota, so if your master install kit doesn't come with one, go ahead and order it from Toyota. Otherwise, you run the risk of oil starving this outer bearing and prematurely uh, cooking it. So let me set this up and get it ready to pound in, and I'll bring you right back. And when I pound in the bearing races, I usually do them on the ground and I just set the carrier just on an old scrap of wood so that the bearing caps don't get destroyed. And then you can take this new oil keeper, lightly set it in its bore. Um, and where'd my driver go? That one's too big. So just stick it, oh, that one's too big too. We're just gonna lightly tap it in to start it. And then we're gonna take our outer pinion race. Set it in place. Set our driver on top of it. and knock it in and it'll knock both pieces in there together. Um, and you can tell they're all the way seated because you can hear the change. It goes from a dull thud to a ringing sound when that race is seated. While we're down here, we can just flip it over. We can stick the inner race in. I like to wipe them off first, make sure they're clean. Check your bores. I've already run this through the parts washer and blown it out. And then we'll lightly press that guy in, the race driver on. And again, you can hear that ring when it's seated. The other thing you want to watch out for the 80 series front is a high pinion. Um, so the, the pinion center line is at the top. When you go to drill your hole for your air locker or your e-locker wiring or airline, make sure that you drill it on the top of the housing, not on the bottom where it looks like the same as you did the back one. So just double check before you drill the big hole in the differential. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting all this together and I'll come back in just a moment uh, when we're ready to start actually setting the gears. Well, I thought I was gonna end up uh, running into more quick tips to share, but this one went together fairly easy. Um, you know, it's pretty much the same as putting together the rears except for the location of the wires coming out the top. And you just want to watch where you drill it. Mine are a little bit close to the pinion, uh, but not terrible. There's plenty of room. So yeah, those are the quick tips for putting together the high pinion eight, as opposed to the normal Land Cruiser nine and a half rear. And basically it's just make sure that you put that oil retainer in, uh, in behind the rear rear bearing in here. Um, other than that, it's pretty much the same as building the rear diff. 
and I'll put a link to the rear diff uh, at the end card. Anyway, I hope you found that helpful, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.